Well, I volunteer as a matter of principle and as a matter of race, too. I had something to prove. Black men were just as capable of being fighters as white men. Well, I volunteered to show that blacks were no less heroic than white men. I think that's why I, I volunteered and went on in, because you got respect from the community, you got respect from the young girls, you got respect from, it, for the, from the preacher, you got respect from everybody. Well, my dad had died when I was eight years old, and it was only my mother and my brothers and sisters, and they were all sad and little reluctant to let me go because uh, they knew I wouldn't get a fair shake in the Army. And, uh, but it was a thing that had to be done. I had just come from church that Sunday and uh, a group of friends were out on the lawn playing football and uh, someone else came by and said, Pearl Harbor has just been bombed and the, the ball game was over. I was always patriotic because America is the only country I know uh, when any parts of America is bombed by someone not a citizen, then that's bombing my property. Now, fellows, during the few days that you'll be with us here at this camp, you This officer who was from Georgia would come in and say, oh, we want to discuss why we fight. Why are we fighting this war? And I don't know what happened to me, but I stood right up. And I said, sir, we're fighting this war to preserve our rights and privileges as American citizens. We're fighting abroad to make sure our Constitution is viable. Words to that effect. I said, but I am fighting the battle here at home, too, every day, because I don't have all those rights and privileges. <laughs> 